Hey, so I haven't made a video in like a couple years, but I felt like this was a good time to because I know a lot of girls bake and I know I always do a lot of that, but there's always a time that you kind of find the person that you think is like perfect. It's not going to be in high school. Don't think that. I mean, my parents met in high school and got married are still together for like 30 years, but don't expect it to happen. I expected it to happen. I fell in love with a guy when I was 16, dated for over a year, broke up because I felt overwhelmed, got back together for like six months, broke up because he got overwhelmed and got me. And then started talking for three months because I wanted really badly to try it a third time. I'm like, third time's the charm, it can work. And he said he did too. And I tried to keep my distance. Didn't work. Moved. Haven't moved on and when you get a chance to do something again, you kind of just die. And we both dove into it a little bit. We were never officially a couple. He told me he loved me. I told him I loved him. Still do, unfortunately. And in the end, he had told me that he couldn't and wasn't ready to be a couple again because he wasn't ready for a relationship and that he didn't think I loved myself so how could I love him at the time I'm like that might make sense I need to go and go love myself and now after a couple weeks I've thought about it and the only thing that I don't love about myself is that I keep doing the same thing over and over again because I fell in love when I was 16 and I love myself enough to know that I can walk away because he begged me to be his friend and be a friend until he was ready and he would tell me then. And I had to say that I loved myself enough to walk away even though it would hurt knowing that all that possibility was gone. But I had to love myself enough to know that I would have been continually hurting because I had hope. And I love hope. If you have hope in a relationship, please go for it. But if it's the third time, it's not going to. You can love each other as much as you want, but if you're not going to both put in the effort and admit where you've both gone wrong, I admit that I did a lot of things wrong, and I've apologized and did my best to make up for it, and he did too. But this time, I was the only one that tried to make an effort to fix it. And if you're a guy who watches this, which I doubt it, I don't have very many people that watch these, so I'm kind of just talking to myself. Do not ever break up with a girl and tell her it's because she doesn't love herself so she can't love you. That's horrible for someone's self-esteem. If I had lower self-esteem, it probably would have been a lot worse. Except I'd gone through this a lot of times I've been cheated on, I've been all the horrible things that can happen to you in a relationship has happened to me. I've been cheated on. I had one of my first boyfriends die. It was horrible. But I did get through that. I did learn that it's okay that things happen. A lot of girls haven't learned that yet because they waited like they should have. I mean, like I should have 
to start dating. So don't tell them. It's because they don't love themselves. Because at that point, they might not. But someone saying that you can't be with them because they don't love themselves is not true. You don't have to love yourself to love someone else. You could be someone with the lowest self-esteem possible and hate yourself for something that you've done or was done to you. And you can still look at someone who's a good friend from being a kid or your little sibling or a parent or anybody or significant other. And you can love them with all that you have. And you'd probably love them more than a lot of other people love people because you know what it's like to not love yourself and you want them to feel loved. So anyone who says that they can't be with someone because the other person doesn't love themselves. I'm sorry, but it's bullshit. Like, that's not okay. And nobody's going to watch this, but I had to say that. No one should ever be told that they don't. someone doesn't want to be with them because they don't love themselves. That's wrong. Because we all go through times where we don't love ourselves. And if anybody ever needs help, they can always message me on here or on Instagram or anything. I don't care. I know what that's like, and I know what it's like to get through it and to start actually loving yourself. So I feel like sometimes you need a little bit of help and to know that, yeah, life sucks, but it gets better. And... I'm not on here to ask anyone to subscribe or anything like that. I don't I don't care about doing things like that. But I'm going to keep making videos whenever I feel the need that there's something to be said. And if you have watched this and you even got to this point because I'm sorry it's very long and I didn't I was expecting this to be like 2 minutes. Um Thank you for watching, and if you know someone that maybe is in a bad relationship or anything like that, they can watch my video. Don't watch my old ones. I looked like a weird middle school child. And if you have any requests for a video, I could probably do it, because just about anything that can happen while you're in a relationship has happened to me. Okay, so thank you.